for me, this was just such a gift to be able to do something about this. 51-year-old Michelle Simone will soon join like... thousands across the country who survived COVID-19 and will now donate their plasma to critically ill patients fighting the virus. My antibodies in my plasma could actually fight off the infection or stop it in its tracks. The treatment relies on antibodies taken from patients who have recovered from COVID-19. It gives a massive boost to the immune system of coronavirus patients to help them kill the virus. Recently, five patients from China with severe COVID-19 infections recovered after undergoing this treatment. Patients have been taken off mechanical ventilation and even been discharged after treatment with convalescent plasma. Dr. Alyssa Zyman, the medical director of transfusion medicine at UCLA, has joined a nationwide effort and now leads a clinical trial to study whether convalescent plasma from recovered COVID-19 patients may help those fighting the virus. So we were excited. There is no proven treatment yet for COVID-19, and if we can collect plasma, from people who have recovered and used that to treat patients, that would be a wonderful achievement. More than 800 acute care facilities across the country are participating in the trial approved by the FDA. At UCLA alone, over 800 patients like Simone have signed up to donate. It's just a small way that I can help on the front lines without actually being there. All across the country, and especially here at UCLA, researchers are asking anyone who has documentation that they survived COVID-19 or have the antibodies to the virus to participate in their clinical trial. In Westwood, Stacy Butler, KCAL 9 News.